We are finally at Mac Novels again. We now finally get to write some narrowly downhill tracks. This week, we are writing a double black diamond track called Crazy Track. It's full of chunky rocks and steep slick rock. There are a few trees across the track further down and aren't easy to get around, but you can write most of the track while keeping your flow. Now, before we get into writing, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and stay to the end of the video to get a better overview of the track. Now, let's get into writing. All right, so we are doing uh, crazy track, yes, crazy track. And so, it starts a bit further down, but crazy track and rocky road can to start here if need be. You can start further down if you want to. But either one works. So I'll, I'll show you where they split, where they split off, a bit further down. That's a bit fucky there. A bit rocky on this. These two tracks are actually really steep. But crazy tracks, they aren't as bad as you might think. Um, the name doesn't really do anything. Rocky Road, however, that actually does live up to its name. It's actually quite rocky going down there. I'll show you when we get there. Um, I'll, show you Rocky, I'll show you Rocky Road next time. But for now, we'll still do crazy track. But it too is still equally rocky. That tree's a bit annoying, but. Oh. Oh. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Oh, hold on. Drop that, but I just whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna go around the edge. About the same size as that one there. Yeah. That jump into there, and it looks pretty good. All right. Comes out to the road here, and then it drops into. There. A bit, a bit steep that drop in. So it's that's not half bad. Whoa. Right, anyway, front and brake. Front and back ones. Front, front and back brake pads. A bit thorny on here. Keep on that and you'll be fine. Yeah, so do that. I can't exactly remember where the turn off is. Uh, yes, down here. We might need some two finger braking. There, yeah, it gets a lot more. Oh no! I can't set up for that one. That tree's a bit low, I'm, I'm two meters tall, I can't really fit under that. 15 centimeters, mate. Oh, come on, I've got enough speed to stop up for it. Oh, same with this one here. That tree is there, so it looks quite low down as well. Take the high line on this. Oh my goodness. It's too slow. Like, it's, so, it's so slow, it just doesn't work. Well, it actually does work, it just could carry your speed in a bit more. I mean, you could get into a bit of a lower gear to knock your tent for me. Maybe a bit more so for it so you can pedal into it a bit more with a bit more, well, less resistance for that matter. And this road gets really steep. And then here. My right, two finger braking. The road gets into the steep. Whoa. Let me get, maybe get set up for it first. Uh, right at it. Whoa! I'm gonna go 
to go back and get another shot of that. Hey, what's coming on? We took about 15, well, maybe about half an hour trying to film just that, like, less than, less than about 20 meters of track. Yeah. Yeah, about, maybe about less than 20, yeah, about maybe less than 30. Less than 30 meters of track to him, half an hour to film. That's like, oh, so many English in time. It's so steep, it looks like a Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this also is a very wide angle turn here as well. So it's a bit, it's a bit precarious trying to come in. But they've got a, a really wide and high. See that rock there is a bit annoying. I might need to sort of have to like sort of endo around, but it's a bit difficult to. I can barely endo, but I could, I can actually endo, but it's just actually, I just can't endo on like an angle like that and on a turn like that. And walking oh, up the rear brake, getting them sick, getting them hot. Whoa. I've tried to use two, one finger braking, but I had to put back to two fingers because of the um, thickness of the train. I don't need maximum power on the brakes. Oh, no. I could have gone on a straight line there, but. Look at that here. Aim for the Alright. There we go. Race the right. Stop shooting me. Maybe I'm feeling the making the progress though. I thought I was going to catch that one. Not, not catch it, but sort of quick changing on the rock. Whoa. Oh, this is the really annoying section where it gets like quick, quick and so back down and so rocky. So, I'll walk down it and just, just show you what it's like. Now, walking down it is a bit risky, but, and a bit breaks through. Um, yeah, right, let's do it. Whoa! I thought it was half in the pedal. And it was just so slick and it was just, it was just sliding everywhere. Ha! Well, I'm getting into that rocky tree section now. Might one, two, three. Can I bet it's or two in there? <laughs> Alright, so, if you're persistent, you can actually get past it quite rapidly, quickly. And the rest. I mean, that's the only section we can actually have to actually stop if you're, you know, committed to riding the whole thing. That's, that'll be... That's a bit of mud. Ah. I mean, it kind of is... It's kind of loop speaking, so... You know, you've got to be careful of where you are. And... This section here is a bit, you know, I've got some jumps in here. Down this section. Track. Yeah. Can I get like a video of me like that? I'm not video of that. Anyway, so, whoa, the next main road that comes out is here. I don't know. This is not my style. So, I think I might just end the video off here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out Catbell and Co. in the description to get 30% of your order um, of riding apparel and clothing. 
and you look at like, other accessories. So don't forget to check out that link in the description and don't forget to commit to everything, write everything and shred everything. Bye!